it don't matter about your skill set, whatever it is. I feel like I can adjust, or my my style is just gonna impose on them so much that you know it might break them. Y'all coming up with these narratives? Oh, this guy's scared, or he's scared, or he's ducking, or he's ducking, or they don't want to fight each other, and they they just came up with all sorts of lies and all this crazy stuff. But now that the fight here. People want to have excuses. People want to complain. Support the fight. You know? <laughs> okay, here we go. Terrence, Terrence, Terrence Bud Crawford has won, won. Yeah. <laughs> the press conference. Look, I want to say this, dude. Terrence Crawford won the press conference because simply he had more energy, dog. And it is not, it's not like he was energetic. He just had more energy. Errol Spence was pretty much in a coma. Like he, he his energy, check. I was like, wrap it up. Just wrap it up. It's not like Terrence Crawford had a butt. You know what this is? This reminds me of the uh, happy day moment <laughs> or sister act too. Okay, take a deep breath. Be fine, don't worry. Errol Spence was pretty much the first time that kid was like, oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. And Terrence Crawford put a little bit more stank on it. He was like, he was the second time the kid said, oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. But what we really want is when that kid got his shit off. Happy day. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. Yeah. Oh, he taught me how. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. That's what we want. The press conference was full of information. Let, let's just do that. I mean, the media asked good questions. Um, Custer is amazing. He does what he does. Both fighters gave a shit ton of information. The problem is, it was hard for me to stay focused. Now, I do like this part with Errol Spence. My favorite thing from Errol Spence when he was talking about the gym itself and him walking in there and how he stays motivated. He's sparring and, you know, Andy Joshua might walk in the gym or Frank might walk in the gym or they sparring, I might walk in the gym and, you know, we watch each other work. And just naturally, you know, you're going to either try to work a little bit harder, or, you know, you're going to be, you know, really working because, you know, another top fighter is watching you and trying to, you know, see how you work. That shit, I was just trying to picture that. Like, damn, you're sparring and then AJ walks in. Or you come in and AJ sparring and then you see, you know, uh, Ryan Garcia over there, Frank Martin. I'm like, that is sick. Sick. Like, I was picturing that, and I'm like, yo, that is ill to be around that. Just Jamel Charlo sparring and AJ hitting the, the mat. Right, Tumbo, let's go. Hitting the ring, let's go. I like that. My favorite part from Terrence Bud Crawford is when he was talking about the similarities, like after fighters fight him. Like, people always talk about how Errol Spence, the, after fighting him, they're not the same. Well, Terrence Crawford was like, after fighting me, they're not the same. When I took things from fighters, I took they belt, I took they they owe, I took a lot from them. I took they mental, they never was the same, they never performed the same. So I can say the same. Yo, he's right. That whole narrative, and I'm a big part of that, of Errol Spence, the guys he fight, they're not the same. After Terrence Crawford fights you, you're not doing shit. Right, uh, Sean Porter retired. Kell Brook, he ain't done. I mean, he fought Amir Khan. He ain't doing in Dongo, like the Mean Machine. Like nobody's really getting that shit off after fighting Terrence Crawford. They get that fight with Terrence Crawford, and that's it. And that's it. So he is just shit. So yeah, I mean, I mean, what, regardless, if you guys think those guys were finished, you know, before fighting him or whatever narrative, whatever. Either way, at the end of the day, after fighting Terrence Crawford, your shit's done. So, hey, if I'm Terrence Crawford, I feel the same way. But overall, let this please, please let this be the last press conference. Because I just don't think it hypes the fight. I, I, them talking and doing press conference, they both get tired of the questions. 
I don't really think that hypes the fight. Let me know how y'all feel in the comments below. Show biz for adult. I'm out. Huh.